Hi, this is Nathan Ryan with Boris Effects and Imagineer Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Optical Stabilizer to easily smooth out shaky footage in Adobe Premiere. Optical Stabilizer is one of many image restoration tools found in Boris Continuum Complete 10, and it fixes several kinds of camera shake, like handheld photography, wind, vibration, and jitters inside the optics of the camera. The best footage for stabilizing will have a good amount of contrast and in-focus areas and include only panning, zooming, and rotation for camera movement. This first shot of a rock climber is a good place to start. I'm going to apply the effect, and you can see under the mode drop-down menu we have several options. I'm going to talk about the first two, stabilize and smooth. Stabilize makes the footage look like it was locked down on a tripod, while smooth keeps some of the larger, more deliberate camera movements in. Now I'll click Analyze, and a few moments later we have a preview of the effect. If we select a reference frame using this slider, we can select a good point to make the shot look as good as possible. As a side note, you can see the shot gets cropped a bit, this is always necessary when doing any type of post-production stabilizing. If I go to the post-processing section and unselect auto scale, you'll see how the effect works and why it needs to be cropped. This next shot of a city street is a good candidate for stabilizing as well. Under the Stabilize drop-down menu, you see we have three options. Translation, Translation and Rotation, and translation, rotation, and zoom. The movement in this clip seems to be mostly up and down and left and right, so I'm going to select translation. This makes the shot look like it was filmed with a tripod. This last shot of two people is a good candidate for smoothing. Under mode, I'm going to select smooth, and under stabilize, I'm going to select translation and rotation as I don't think there's any zooming in the shot. After we analyze the clip, you can see that smooth doesn't lock down the camera per se, but it smooths out the deliberate camera movements. Now that we're happy with the basic movement in all these clips, we can go back and up the quality of the final render. Under the post-processing controls, we see a quality drop-down menu with several options. Magic Smooth will be good for shots with any deliberate camera movement, and Magic Sharp will be good for everything with camera lockdown. Standard is kind of a good selection if you're not sure what you want. Now we're all set for our final render. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for Optical Stabilizer. I'm Nathan Ryan, signing off.